how can we implement a sum function recursively? So I remember struggling a lot with recursion at first, and it took me a, a couple of years to get really acquainted with it and to get really comfortable. So I'll try to help you out with that. So the best thing you can do when you're starting is to literally just start. So you're going to define a function sum that's going to accept, let's say, a list, and then it's going to sum things recursively. Now what you want to do is you want to fill this in. Now the first thing you can do is try to think, imagine you are really, really lazy, like really, really lazy. What's the, what type of lists can you get, can you receive as inputs that will let you do as little work as possible? What are the simplest cases you could receive? What are the simplest cases you could handle? And maybe you'll think, yeah, a one item list is easy to sum because it's only one item. So you don't really have to sum anything, you just need to return that item. And so what you need to do is you need to start by handling those very simple cases. So you're going to do that. So if the length of the list is 1, there's nothing to sum at all. You only need to return the first item of the list. And now you can see that your function sum already works for some specific cases, right? For very specific lists. Now what you need to do is you need to handle all other cases, right? Cases where the lists don't have only one element. And this is where recursion comes into play. Now what you have to do is you need to figure out how to break the summing of the list into a lot of small steps. And summing a list, for example, summing a list with three elements, how does one sum this list? Well, you take the 42, you sum it to 73, and then you sum it to zero. So the several steps are the plus operations you are going to do. Now what you can think is, well, let's imagine you have a, a friend of yours that also wrote this code and they want to help you. So you can use their code, you can use their sum function, but you can only use it to do most of the work. You can't use your buddy's function to do everything. You must do something yourself. So what's the small action you can do yourself to then take advantage of your friend's function? Well, we saw when we had, I wrote down a list here, maybe this one, what we saw was that, well, the sum of this list, so summing a big list, is the same as taking the first item out and adding the first item by hand to the sum of the rest of the list. And your buddy wrote this function, so you can use this function. So what, what you have to do is you have to take the first item and add it, and then use your buddy's function to sum the rest of the list. And so you're going to define your sum function. And then if the list only has one item, you already know that you don't need to do anything. You can just return the first item. Otherwise, what you're going to do is you're going to return the first item that you are adding by hand to the sum of the remainder of the list. And this here is the recursive part because you are calling your own function, except that you can think of this as your buddy's function. And so your buddy's function is going to sum the rest of the list and then you add the missing element. And so you can give this a go. Now, the only thing here is that in explaining this, and this is something that happens a lot uh, for people that are starting to understand recursion, is that their first case, the thing we covered here, they get it wrong. And that's perfectly fine. It's just a matter of taking a look at your function and trying to see if you did everything correctly. And I say we did this wrong because we thought, well, summing a list with one item is easy because you only have to return the first item. But there's a simpler case. And that's when the argument is empty. Right now, our function cannot add the empty list. But this should be zero. I'll even I'll exit Python and I'll open it again because sum is a built-in function and you can see that the sum of the empty list should be zero. So in our recursive implementation, what we need to do is we need to check if the length of the list is zero, because if it is, then we return a zero. Otherwise, we do what we've done before. We add, we take the first item, 
and we add it by hand to the sum of the remainder of the list. So now this works. And this is a recursive implementation of the sum function.